Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You see my ring light? That's not jail talk, it's me. Douglas, this fucking thing focus or what? Anyways, this is the Ibanez universe that I had repainted. Uh, this used to be black, it is now neon green. True neon green, as Cam and Reese has told me that um, you put this under black light, it will glow. Headstock is still black. I think next year I will change that to be green. It doesn't matter whether the uh, logo's on it or not. I'll never sell this guitar because um, I was in a band called Flatstick with a friend of mine, Gary McKay. He sadly died of cancer. I'm sure I've told this story before, but uh, I'll probably get this guitar cremated with me. So it's not going anywhere. So whether there's a Ibanez logo on it or not really doesn't mean a thing. And I'll probably change this pit guard back to black at some stage, unless they have a uh, neon green one. Oh, can you paint scratch plates, I wonder? Anyways, so this is what it looks like. And um, I'll, I'll show, I'll, um, I'll also, while you're here, I might as well just run you through the tones I will be using for the upcoming um, Obscura tour that we're doing at the end of March in Australia uh, with Somnium Knox as well. So it's us, it's Somnium Knox, us, and Obscura. We're playing in um, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. I'm going to be taking my Pod HD 500. I programmed some new sounds because I realized something. Um, one of the last show, last few shows we played per song, I would have patches. So that's like, you know, 10 different, not, not patches, but like 10 banks of patches. And I realized that unless you rehearse like nightly to remember where your, you know, your ideas were, it's just too much. So I've, I've just, I've got two banks now. And the first bank is gonna be, I should have done, I've made so many patch mistakes, it, it was ridiculous. But uh, that's my current clean, which I will fix because there's not a, I don't hear any chorus. Uh, this is my <laughs> Susie and the Banshee sound for the chordal stuff that I do, the clean stuff while everybody else is jamming out to metal. I don't really play single lines, so it's just, you know. That kind of thing. I think the goth girls would like that. And you got your hard drive and rhythm. Now it's just your, uh, I'm using the angle Powerball setting on my HD 500 with minimal tweaking and I think the only thing on would be the noise gate. I've got no cabinet simulation either so I got my, I will have my angle um, cabinet. I just with these things what I do is and I think it's the smartest way to run it is, is this into a tube power amp with speakers and I can color that tone with uh, chorus reverb and delay reverb delay And then my lead sound is basically the same as rhythm, but just a higher boost and the delay and reverb are on. <laughs> and I think 
think I can get the chorus going. Is it on? So my second bank, channel A or whatever. It's like an acoustic E. Bit of reverb. And that's it. And then I, I do have chorus. This is for a specific song. Uh, next one channel is my Susie tone, but with may, way more delay and way more reverb. And then channel C is always rhythm, so that no matter where I'm at, I can always go to rhythm and I won't freak out on stage. <laughs> Lead is the same as the other place. course I got the old fret lights going. What I was planning on doing was using this guitar as a backup guitar um, and use my my main Ibanez which is the 10th anniversary I don't know black with the uh, pyramid here one I don't know the name of it UKB fucking blah 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 and just leave this in the background with the fret lights on just sitting there in the stand and just never go to it but I've been getting so many comments from friends that see this guitar in person, that it is so green that I would be an idiot not to play it. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think we've got between eight and 10 songs to play. I'm just gonna have to play this for the first five and then the other one for the last five. And that's it, because uh, look, this guitar is pretty fucking cool, man, you know? Um, and Cameron Reese did such a good job that I've got, I'm gonna have him paint um, the James Powell Ibanez universe. I think neon yellow. I'm not entirely sure. This is just a thought right now, and I am very much into changing my mind. Um, so we'll see. And that's basically it. I think I will let you go, but um, I'll talk to you soon. Absolutely, I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.